Okay. But my last my last question, and then we're gonna do a little bit more discussion is is ESPN trying to ruin hockey? Like really? They, some they cut the bad camera angles. Um and just just if, if there's any way to ever do anything wrong, it feels like they're doing it. That's that's just my thought without without trying to say I mean I actually I, I like Ray Ferraro, I like Emily Kaplan. And the, there's lots of times where they're doing a great job. It's just, and sometimes the stats they bring up, but just other times you go, why, why are we on this angle? Philk. I, I was complaining about this earlier on in the year when I was doing a lot of my streams and I was just saying like, why are they doing these weird camera angles? Please stop doing them. They continue to do them. It's annoying. They're trying to appeal to casual fans and give them a view of, how it's because let's just take a look into this from like an outsider perspective. If you're coming into, um, you know, watching the hockey game for the first time, you're trying to follow the puck. It's probably going to be a little easier to follow the puck from that view for a, somebody who doesn't really know how to follow the puck. But mm. for us and, you know, hard, you know, diehard fans who understand how the game works and flows, you don't want to see this angle. It's annoying. It's stupid. Mm -hmm. So if they want to give it to them and like, um, uh, and like kind of like a like a, like a sub view, if you will, like like kind of like a cornered little shot, so that that way you know maybe it helps those other fans. Sure, okay, I understand that, but not the entire game, and not the entire game, not uh, significant chunks of the entire game. It's just it's stupid. Yeah, Pete, Mark, I have two thoughts about this. I think ESPN right now is feeling the pressure because the TNT and the TBS broadcast is simply more compelling and more fun than the ESPN one. Mm -hmm. Take a guy like Paul Bissonette, like him or not, the fact of the matter is that people will tune in to see what this guy is going to do. You have a loose cannon like Rick Tockett on the show. You have a guy like Anson Carter who, who knows his hockey. It's a little bit of a better broadcast, I think, than ESPN. They recognize this. They feel some pressure. ESPN is trying to be a little bit more fun. Yesterday in the studio, you have Kevin Weeks sitting there with his goalie glove. Steve Levy must have asked him like six times, why are you wearing that goalie glove? They're trying too hard to have fun instead of just sticking to the hardcore hockey, which is why people are tuning in to watch. They're trying too hard to create this product that they don't need to make. Just stick to the meat and potatoes, which is broadcasting quality hockey, which is what us fans want to watch. The other thing about this ESPN broadcast, and I go back to the first day of the season. So Seattle's first game that they played was against Vegas, right? Vegas jumps out. I think they had a 3 nothing lead within the first period. Early in the second period of that game, ESPN went to this ridiculous camera angle where, like, they had this drone behind the goal line, maybe 20 feet off the ice, 30 feet off the ice, and they didn't have any audio for about two minutes. Yep. Could you have imagined if the first goal in Seattle Kraken history was not even broadcast by an announcer because <laughs> you have a drone trying to have all these ridiculous camera angles to oh. show what they can do? Just the decisions that they make can just be asinine. And they're trying too hard to make this product better when it doesn't need to be. Hockey fans will tune in to watch hockey. They do not need to mess around with it. Mark, I'm with you. I, I don't know if they're trying to ruin hockey, but I would tell you that the approach they're taking is not working for hardcore hockey fans. And, and it's not like they don't have talent on there. I mean, Steve Levy is a good uh, studio host slash play-by-play -play guy if they want to use him that way. Uh, you got Butchergross, who who certainly cares a lot and is great on every – he's an even better – uh, studio guy than he is a play by play guy. He's pretty yes. good play by play yeah. guy too. I want him. I want him in the studio, or I want him on color. I, I, Absolutely. I, yeah. I and Pete's Pete's totally on because that was what I wanted to say. I it you can just tell ESPN or they're trying so hard to be the cool, funny, fun show when they just don't have that. But the thing is with TNT with guys that they have. It just comes naturally to them for some reason, and that's what yep. makes their coverage better. Mm -hmm. And please, for the love of God, ESPN, fix your damn audio. Please fix the audio because it's like it's it's ahead of the video by like 
five seconds or three to five seconds. <laughs> they, they scored yeah. when the ring scored the goal yesterday from Zibanejad. I heard um, the call before the puck was even in the net. I'm like, wait, what the hell? It was just like by about two seconds. Like, please, not hard. ESPN should not be having these production issues. Yeah, it's kind of like you're the worldwide wide leader in sports, and yet there's so many production issues. Oh. So, 